We are back, and it is time for another matchup, the Grand Finals in one of the brackets where we are going to see part two of an epic series we witnessed earlier today. I'm DJ Wheat. And I'm Tia Paul, and we're going to be jumping into the final game of the night. It's going to be Stefano versus Violet to find out who's going to be the winner of Group C. And, of course, the winner does advance so far in the championship bracket that it means that they get to just watch and witness all of the carnage unfold tomorrow as players are eliminated round after round after round. So this becomes a very crucial matchup because it can take you all the way to the end where you are guaranteed a large piece of that prize purse and, of course, a piece of the $25,000. Now, because this is an extended series and these two players have met before it means that violet starts this series two games to one the first of four wins violet can capture it in two stefano he's got a tougher battle because he needs three indeed he does let's see if he can fight this uphill battle stefano knocked down to the low bracket really early on in this group play by violet and then he went on a good roll down there beating a lot of players a lot of turn players to get back into the to the hot seat right now and we are ready to begin this game it is going to be on metropolis the first game of the day let's get this underway as far as zergs go apollo these two guys rank up there as uh, two of my absolute favorites i mean obviously there's others that uh, fall into that category but uh, violet and his story and coming up and, and what he's been able to accomplish obviously stefano for where he is in, in regards to you know uh, the foreign level versus the rest of the world he absolutely uh, both these players deserve a lot of credits and so with that being said before we introduce them are you guys ready for this zbz matchup well uh we would introduce the players but Apollo, we got some interesting stuff going on right away. GSL rules apply here as we have a six pool coming down by Stefano. And I'm just going to explain this for everybody that's watching right now what this really means. It is not that Stefano is just going, hey, let's six pool start of the series. This is basically because every game we've cast a Violet so far this weekend, DJ Weed, he's opened up with 15 hatchery every yep. single time. Even when Stefano eight pulled the game after, he's six pulled again. Uh, or eight pulled, sorry. Uh, it's right now this makes logical sense if Stefano has calculated this risk out correctly yeah I mean you're right and Millennium Stefano took a risk in game number two in the first series that these two met where it paid off significantly forced a cancel of the hatchery got ahead that way and eventually was just able to take the game but as you can see here I am really curious as to just how far he is going to take it there we see the three Pairs of Zerglings come out, and of course, you all know just how bad of an economic position you are in, oh and so God. the drones are coming soon. Now, he didn't mine up to 100, which typically you'll do if you're going to six pool. That way, you can drop a spine crawler if need be. Yeah, that's but kind there's of interesting. only He's just 95 fight. minerals, Apollo. Yeah. He's just going to fight with these drones, not trying to build a spine, just taking that to the fight and. Violet sees it right now with that Overlord. He has the spawning pool coming down, but that's a pretty late spawning pool. That was 16 again. And the cancellation on the hatchery, on the natural. Stefano says he's sorry as he's about to do this. And we're about to see this unravel DJ. We and it is not looking good for Violet. Uh, it's not. There's going to be drones and Zerglings obviously coming here for the battle. But what Violet is doing is absolutely the right, uh, the right approach to this. If you could keep all those drones together then you can get a nice surface area around those units. And uh, this is going to be a very intense battle. And look at that. He's just going to try to surround. Now, keep in mind that Stefano can use his drones as well. He is pulling back quite a few, but he has lost several Zerglings already. And this is incredibly tense right now. Only three or four drones have gone down by Violet so far. His, dr his drilling into this mineral line is incredible. And he's continuing to keep that up. Well played. Good game. Stefano calls it. 
As the spawning pool finishes, there's no way that you can break that with a queen and Ling's coming. And look how easy Violet... Look at that smile! That is like, well, that was easy. You know, the early aggression I think is actually a good idea versus Violet, but the six pool is like extreme yeah. early aggression. And you know, honestly, and I'll tell him this afterwards, I feel like that extra, that five minerals made a massive, see, and out of BC even knows if you're going to be cheesing, then you might as well go yeah. full cheese. I agree, man. I agree with it. Now, looking at that, and Stefano drops the first game. So now Violet is only one actual game away from taking this. And that's a great position to be in with his excellence in Zerg versus Zerg. All right, so we are now getting ready. All right, um, the next the, oh, yeah, sorry. the next map is going to be on in Tomb Valley as soon as uh, we get everyone in. All right, so I'm just going to join in. Join in. Just look, was looking over that game. Only three drones were actually killed there by Stefano. As the spawning pool completes, as the queen and lings are on the way, he knows. He and it may not that seem time. like the drone drill or the you know the stacking is working, but absolutely it is. Indeed it was, so excellent maneuver there by Violet. Getting ready for the next game, it is on in tune. Both of these guys are ready, so let's get into the game. We are now loading through in tune Valley. Stefano has a big uphill battle to climb here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he can do it. He really does. You can hear the countdown going on right now, and Tomb Valley is going to be the map. Don't expect to see that again Ever from I Stefano. Don't, I don't think so, not this time. I mean, when you don't have the pool down, it's like it's so hard because the one thing is you're defending by stacking those drones. So you you draw the sprite crawler out, you lose that drone, but then you're forced to go fight it. Oh, he's dropping you in it. Oh, wow. We, we well, won't. would you would you care to explain? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, sure. What Stefano. Is, what, does mean? what does that mean? Stefano, I'm gonna. Kill you, Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano, he's you know he's vis he said before like ZVZ is my worst matchup. So what he asked, it's like, what do I do? And we said, well, <laughs> so we said, were, were you not here? You said, you know, Stefano, your early aggression did pretty good versus Violet when you played him in the first series. But he eight pooled. He didn't six pool. The way you and were going. For the record, I never told Stefano to six pool. And if I had, I would have said, get a hundred minerals, man. <laughs> you gotta drop the spine crawler. So if I am his mentor, then we will have to have some words, Apollo. But let's uh, let's introduce our players. <laughs> All right. So in the top right, of course, we do have um, Violet as the blue. And down in the bottom right, we have Stefano. Blaming his six pool loss on DJ <laughs> Weed. I'm going to tell him that 100 minerals in that game would have been his. All right. We have a spawning pool opening this time by Violet. I think he's had enough of these early pool builds. And you know what? Stefano gets the uh, the early build. And I think that's actually quite good here. Yeah. I mean, I, it's smart, right? It, no, it, it's good. It's good. And Stefano's going to get that spawning pool down. Eightlings are on the way. They probably won't be able to do anything else. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding did you, me? Did you speak to Violet? No! Did you speak to Violet? Oh, and he sees it coming! <laughs> oh my god, the Overlord! Did you say anything to him in between the games? Oh did you my win? god, a Violet. And you know what? This is why Violet's such a hard Zerg to go up against, because he doesn't like to play a standard game. Violet goes for the 14th pool. And then he brings a bunch of drones, so he will have to go up. And, you know, Violet has enough for that spine. And look at that there, there. That is how it's done. <laughs> Double spine going down. I told you, Apollo. And Stefano takes the drone <laughs> drilling once again here. We'll take minimal losses. The spawner pool's done. Stefano supply blocked hilariously at the worst time possible here. As he now has the weight to build a queen and anything else. He's building two lings currently. <laughs> oh... DJ, we, well, we I mean, I mean, well, Stefano's actually, this is proper. Yeah, go ahead, put down some spines, get your lings out. He's not going to take your hatchery down. He's not focusing on the pool, but he's got, I mean, the, the spines are w within range of the hatchery, so. 
at this point, this is where it's going to be GG. Well, it looks like Violet's going to send everyone to bed early tonight. This is about to bring down the remaining hatch of Stefano, who now has not enough. Well, he does actually have enough, sorry. He has 310 minerals in the back. He can rebuild. But is he seriously going to come back from this? The only thing I can imagine Stefano doing right now, DJ Weed, is what I would tell him to do. Pick up those spine crawls and make a dash for it to, to Violet's creep. Well, that's exactly what he is going to do. He's uh, not going to give up. And you're right. I mean, having 300 minerals is actually a pretty big deal. If he stays out of range, let's see exactly what he's going to do here. Possibly block any reinforcements. It's a little bit unfortunate that Violet does have a spine crawler being built next to the spawning pool at home. Oh. Spine crawler versus spine crawler wall. It's yeah, gonna... and actually, without having the uh, additional here, well, I mean, it depends on if the spines go for the. Oh no! It looks like spine one gets first hit, but right, well, this is weird. Oh my gosh! This is insane. There's the double hit going on. The oh my! Oh, they're gonna kill each other at the exact same time. They will. This is not over, but Violet responds <laughs> properly. Hold on, I gotta watch these spines. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they slowed down. It's like you're watching the spines. Oh, watch watch but off creep, it is gonna die. So the attack back here, he moves the spine. And this war's going on. Violet just has too many links. He's had so much money, so many links there, and the drones go back to it with a spine crawler finishing. Violet's gonna close this out. Stefano says, congrats. And Violet is. Wow, winner. we just had the most ridiculous <laughs> Look at Violet Oopsie <laughs> Violet wins Stefano <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well Stefano obviously not out of it It just means he's one step behind Where he could have been In the, uh, in the championship bracket but he's still going to be sitting at a good spot. It may be one of the reasons why he actually decided to go that route anyway, Apollo. But uh, it was the quickest ZVZ I've ever seen. That was pretty sick. And from what I've heard, DJ Week, because that game was meant to be our last, it was, it was meant to be our last game of the night. But because that went so fast, I think we may have time for another one. One more maybe. game. One more game. All right. right. Well, guys, while that match is decided, thumbs up. <laughs> while that match is decided, we're going to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, one more game of the evening. Guys, thanks for joining us at the close of day two of the NLG.